Mac Mini 2018 or newer, its SSD, internal SSD are not user upgradable. So for example, this Mac Mini 2018, while it has a decent CPU, it's a six core Intel i7, and also the memory has been upgraded to 32 gigabyte, gigabytes. But its hard drive, it's really 128 gigabytes. So not enough to do any meaningful work on this, the 128 gigabyte internal SSD. So to complement that, we need to create the external SSD and then, then create the users on that external SSD. So now you are looking for to create, uh, to get a external hard drive, external SSD, of course. The, let's say you want a two terabytes external SATA SSD because they are pretty cheap. So now let's go to one of the favorable mark, favorite marketplaces. So now let's looking for the external, let's say, two terabytes SSD. So around, they are really around the two terabytes, it's, it's around $100. Or sometimes you can get it for less than $100. All of them are there okay. And then typically is the SATA SSD are not the fastest one, but they are good enough for the user experience as far as when you are for the interactive work. Besides the two terabytes SSD, you also need to get a external, the USB 3.0 SATA case. They're also quite cheap. Some of them, you can have it for less than $10. So assuming you get a external the SATA case and also the two terabytes SATA SSD and then you make the external hard drive and plug into your Mac Mini. So first you need to format the Mac Mini. So to format the Mac Mini simply go to the disk utility. So clicking applications, utilities and disk utility. And assuming supposed to you format this disk and give a name here is a mac mini extended so you can you can give any other name too so you can forget about this you can ignore this the capacity for this external ssd because this is for the demonstration purpose so notice the mount points for this external drive is a slash volumes slash mac mini extended so you may want to note it down so now let's, we are ready to create a user. But before we create the users, let's go to, let's go to the finders. So clicking the finder and then clicking finders and clicking settings. Okay, so on the general, click the hard disks. And on the sidebars, and also make sure the hard disk is checked and also external disk is checked so now you can close this finder settings and relaunch the finder you will notice here the external disk mac midi extended is be showing up so it's, it's make it easier for us to move the new users we are going to create into the external two terabytes disk. So to create the users, we simply clicking the Apple icon, system settings, and the users and groups. Here, you can simply clicking the add user button. So you first, you need to unlock as with a system administer administration password and 
clicking unlock. So now you are ready to create a new user. So you set a new user also as an administrator. And let's give that new user's name. So for example, let's give that new user's name called developer. And account name, let's call this called dev. And the password, you give a password, initial password. And verify with the initial password. And clicking create users. So now you have a new user called developer. At, at this moment, the developer is, is created inside its internal SSD. So that, that is 128 gigabytes. What you want to do is you want to move that user's home directory from the internal 128 gigabytes to the external 2 terabytes. So to do that, right mouse click advanced options. So clicking the advanced options. So inside the home directory is a slash users slash dev. You know that's inside the original 128 gigabytes. So to move, clicking choose. And you notice because you already show the external disk is on the finder. So clicking the Mac Mini extended, but it doesn't have a user forward. You also need to fo follow the naming, uh, the, the, conven the directory convention is forward, forward slash capital users, cap, uh, in the cap users and forward slash dev. So you first, you need to create a subfolder inside the Mac Mini extended called users, users. Clicking create. So now you have a users subfolder inside the Mac Mini extended. And inside the users, you create another folder. Let's call dev. So now you have a dev that's inside the users folder, which is on the Mac Mini extended. So now you're clicking open. So now you move, you change the home directory from forward slash volumes uh, to forward slash volume, forward slash Mac Mini extended, forward slash users, forward slash dev. This is the path to the two external two terabytes disk. Clicking OK. So now you can simply log off the, the currently you are logging as a users. So now you want to log off and log back in as a developer. As a new user that I have created called a dev. So clicking the finder and just check, for example, where is the desktop located? This desktop is not going to be located on the, in the original 128 gigabytes, uh, the, the, uh, the SSD, but instead it's going to be located inside the two terabytes external hard drive. So clicking the desktop and clicking the get info, and you will see this desktop is located in the Mac Mini extended users folder and the user dev directory. Same thing is the document automatically should also be located inside the Mac Mini extended users and dev. So anything you do when you log in as a dev is going to be exclusively using the two terabytes disk. So that has effectively extend the original 128 gigabytes, the, the SSD, which is obviously not enough uh, to do some meaningful work.